The Keokuk County Veterans Affairs Office will host an open house on Thursday, June 27th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The office has relocated to the first floor to offer easier accessibility. Stop by to meet Michelle Herman, the commissioners, and enjoy a light lunch. The Keokuk County VA Commission is located at the Keokuk County Courthouse in Sigourney, Iowa at 101 South Main. Again, the Keokuk County Veterans Affairs Office will host an open house Thursday, June 27th from 11 to 1. Contemporary Christian artist Leanna Crawford is coming to the Watch Year Opera House in Watch Year, Iowa, Saturday, June 29th at 7 p.m. Doors open up at 6 p.m. Advanced tickets are $15 plus tax, $20 at the door. Hey, it's Leanna Crawford, and I am so, so cheery to be coming to What Cheer, Iowa. It's going to be such a sweet night of music and praising Jesus together, and I cannot wait to see you there. All proceeds to support the Tri-County Food Pantry. Brought to you by the Watch Year Methodist Church. Ticket information can be found on the Watch Year Methodist Church Facebook page. The Keokuk County Expo Fair Kickoff Barbecue Cookoff is Saturday, July 13th. $100 per team, up to four. Deadline to sign up is Friday, June 28th. Cash payout is $350 to first place per category. Meal for the public starts at 5.30 with a free will offering. Be sure to sign up by the entry deadline, June 28th. Stop at the Keokuk County Extension Office to pick up a packet. Proceeds to support the Keokuk County Expo. Sponsored by Keokuk County Farm. Bureau. The fourth annual Travis Griner Memorial Tractor Ride is Saturday, June 29th. Sign up begins at 6.30 a.m. behind Griner Crop Service, east of Kyoto Water Tower. Free will donation. Includes lunch and snacks along the ride. Proceeds to Area 4-H and FFA fairs. The ride leaves Kyoto at 7.45 and will be a 60-mile round trip. Sponsored by Southeast Iowa Tractor Association, Incorporated. It's the 4th Annual Travis Griner Memorial Tractor Ride, Saturday, June 29th. And if you don't have a tractor, come and watch along the route. library with miss amanda on steve shetler media last week we were talking about our trivia question was about how many things you can check out at the library how many things are available for checking out at our library um so it might surprise people just how much stuff we have and the variety of stuff that we have here at the library for checkout so the question was how many items does the sigourney public library offer for patrons to check out like physical items and electronic. So physically at the library, we have 18,211 items, and that includes books, audiobooks, paperbacks, large prints, um, children's books, young adult, junior fiction, cake pans, um, video games, movies, TV shows. Um, I'm sure I'm missing things. Um, we have play kits that people can check out to um, use in the library. So 18,211 things physically here at our library to check out. We do also um, offer a service called Bridges that is an electronic service. So there are eBooks, um, electronic audiobooks, magazines, and those items available to our patrons, a number over 150,000. So 156,645 things electronically available as well as the 18,211 physically. So we have a lot of things that you are, um, you have access to with a library card to our library. But this week I thought it would be fun to see um, one of the Guinness World Record um, holders. So my trivia question this week is, in terms of annual book sales and earnings, who is the highest selling adult fiction author according to the Guinness World Records? So in terms of annual book sales and earnings, who is the highest selling adult fiction author according to Guinness World Records? This record's actually from 2012 to 2013. So if you um, are a book lover and you think about what books were popular in 2012, you might be able to come up with the answer. Um, it might surprise you. It kind of surprised me until I realized um, what time period it was from. Um, but I'll give you the answer at the end of my segment. So books you don't want to miss this week. So my first one is one that um, 
the book club did a book called American Dirt and this author wrote another book that was highly recommended by several people that have read it um, and one of my staff members asked me if I would feature it on here one week so um, this is called A Rip in Heaven by Janine Cummings and it's a memoir of murder and its aftermath so it is a nonfiction. Um, it is new here. I just um, actually got this for us after so many people had recommended it. Um, and I'll read you just a little bit. When my parents packed my brother, my sister, and me into the family van and drove us to Missouri for spring break, we brought our entirely Im imagined hard blah, city hardness with us. The hard truth that we were about to learn was that, in fact, we weren't tough kids at all. We never dreamed of the kind of brutality we were about to encounter, the kind of tragedy that would destroy our lives in a single night. Our life in the city had not prepared us for anything. Nothing could prepare us for this. So it reveals the devastating effects of shocking tragedy in this landmark true crime book. So, A Rip in Heaven. Highly recommended by patrons and staff here at the library. It is available for checkout. My second book, I thought it would just be fun to, um, feature this one because of the title. So um, this is called The Teacher's Bride by Kathleen Fuller. And the reason this is kind of funny, if you don't know who my husband is, he is actually um, a teacher at the high school. So a teacher and a librarian, it's a dream connection, right? <laughs> so this is A Teacher's Bride. Um, it is an Amish romance, um, kind of Christian fiction. I'll read you a little bit. Christian Rope moves to Birch Creek to accept a teaching position in the rapidly growing Amish community. He's determined to put the rambunctious school in order as well as check another task off his list, find a wife. Of course, that would be much easier if he could understand women as clearly as he understands his textbooks. When an accident puts Christian out of commission, a new community member named Ruby Glick takes over his classroom. But Ruby's exuberant teaching style clashes with Christian's careful methods, and he worries his students will never be the same. With a track record of catastrophe, Ruby always feels too clumsy, too distracted, too much. Desperate for a chance to prove that she can do more than make mistakes in her life, she throws herself into her new teaching position. But when Christian can't seem to stay out of her way, she finds herself slipping into old chaotic tendencies. What she doesn't anticipate is that Christian's heart is slowly catching up with his mind, and she, too, must decide whether to follow logic or love. So the teacher's bride. If you like a good romance, that is for you. All right, upcoming programs at the library. So our Cook the Book event um, for July will be July 1st. Um, we are featuring Gooseberry Patch Quick and Easy Family Favorites. Our book club will meet on July 20th. They are reading the second book. Um, a few weeks ago, I featured the book by Frederick Backman um, called Bear Town. They liked it enough that they're reading the second one to that called Us Against You on July 20th. Our freezer meals for this month, um, the last day to register for July is July 12th. And then pickups for freezer meals will be the 23rd and 24th. Um, I'm going to show you our menu here, if I can get you turned around. Um, our July, July menus feature um, grilling things. So if you like to be out and grilling and stuff, these are for you. So feature crispy grilled wings, grilled hamburgers, grilled ham steak, grilled chicken burgers, open face bratwurst sandwiches, Italian steak sandwiches, zesty chicken soft tacos, and grilled whiskey chops. So, I said, if you like grilling, that is a month for you. Um, a lot of really, really good stuff. Those would be very easy to cook when you're out camping, or um, even if you don't want to grill, if you want to cook it on the stovetop. These are all recipes that are very, very simple and very easy to make different ways. Um, like I said, the last day to register for meals for July is July 12th, and the pickups are the 23rd and 24th. Um, our summer programs this month. So our last June program is tomorrow is the 28th. Um, our movie matinee goes from noon to 1.30 and they are going to be watching The Bad Guys, which is based on a junior fiction novel that is very like ridiculously popular. Um, so if you wanna come to that, um, we provide popcorn and um, 
a few snacks and drinks and stuff, whatever we have on hand. Um, but definitely popcorn will be there. So we'll bring a sleeping bag or a blanket or pillow or bean bag or whatever you need to be comfortable for that. Um, we do have two events at the library. Um, we just had one that um, got finalized here actually uh, yesterday. So um, on July 8th, we have Toby Kidd coming and he is going to be at the library doing a Jedi show. So at 2 p.m. on the 8th, um, Jedi show at the library. Then on the 11th, also at the library, we will be having Desi Payne, um, who is a local magician. Um, we've had her before. She's super, super great. Um, so Desi Payne, the magician, will be at the library at 1 p.m. on the 11th. And then we have something out at the expo during fair week from Sunday through Friday. The library is hosting a performer. So Sunday, the 14th, the fair kicks off and the library is going to be having life-size dinosaurs. So these are all at the expo during the fair. So on the 14th at 10 a.m., Feller Express is bringing their life-size dinosaurs. Um, super excited for that. We had life-size dinosaurs last year from a different company who wasn't available this year, but these guys are um, kind of a sister company and they are fabulous. Then on Monday the 15th, um, Laura Ernst is a kind of one woman Cirque du Soleil. Um, she's an acrobat. She's been on uh, America's Got Talent. She's amazing. Um, so Monday the 15th at 3 p.m. will be Laura Ernst. Tuesday the 16th is um, we had a cancellation for a performer so we're trying to finalize. Um, we have a, a magician coming but we're trying to finalize details with them so look for more information on that next week for Tuesday's event. Um, Wednesday the 17th we have Science Heroes. They do science experiments and story and very much involve the, um, the oh my gosh, words, <laughs> the, the people watching the show, they involve the audience. That's the word I was looking for, audience, very much. Um, Science Heroes, the 17th of July at 9.30. The 18th, Thursday at 10.30 a.m., the Blank Park Zoo is going to be coming. Um, they usually bring two or three live animals um, for the kids to um, get to see, and they talk a lot about um, different things going on at the zoo and um, the animals and all the great things with them. So the 18th at 10.30 a.m. is a Blank Park Zoo. And then we'll end the week on the 19th at 1 p.m. with Will Stuck, who is a comedy magician. Super excited to have him. We've never been able to get him before. Um, but July 19th, that Friday at 1 p.m., Will Stuck will be out at the expo. Lots and lots of things going on at the library this summer. We have had something every day in July or every day in June, and it has just been a whirlwind. We love it. We love seeing the kids. We love getting to do things with them and helping them learn. Um, so there's still a lot more summer left. We are going to end our summer with our big end of the summer pool party. Um, it will be on August 9th here at the Sigourney um, Municipal Pool um, out on Spring Street, and it will be from 9.30 to 11 a.m., all right, my trivia question of the week. In terms of book sales and earnings annually, who is the highest selling adult fiction author according to Guinness World Records? Excuse me. So again, this record is from 2012, 2013. So if you know anything about that um, era, a very, very popular book went completely wild, like nationwide, worldwide. And the author of that book was Erica Leonard James, better known as E.L. James. Um, if you don't know who that is, she wrote a very, um, very popular series. Um, most successful author of adult fiction during the period from June 20, 2012 to June 20, 20, 2013, this British author netted $95 million dollars in one year and this beat the previous record holder who I thought was going to be the answer James Patterson who finished that same year with 91 million so very very close um but yeah if you know E.L. James uh comment below if you have read any of her stuff or not or if you've liked it 
Uh, that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week for 4th of July.